to do. Yep. Hey, happy Memorial Weekend. <laughs> yeah, it's Monday, but it's Memorial Day, so we have the day off. Well, okay, I don't have the day off. I'm working, yeah. <laughs> I've got something in here from Beaver that uh, it looks so good. I'm really not sure where this is going to fit in my uh, tools because, yeah, this thing is... I gotta see if I can lift it. I'm gonna take a guess and say it's about 30 or 40 pounds in this box, but it's an impact socket set from Beaver. And yeah, not only a great price, but huge half inch drive selection, I think. So we gotta open this up and just check it all out because wow, what a set. I went and checked on uh, Hobo Freight to see if they have a set like this, and they've got a set coming out in late June, I think it is, for about $179. This is uh, Beaver. Tough tools for half the price. So, once again, Beaver's price is, yeah, it's better. <laughs> and this is a big set. It's, oh, it's a it's bigger piece, too. The, the Harbor Freight set uh, was 61. This is a 65 piece set, so right away we're up. yeah now it's uh, in a nice suitcase that's a good thing because it weighs quite a bit it is heavy so we're going to pop this open I'm gonna bring you guys over so you can have a, a good look at this this set oh man that would make sense this thing is so heavy Whew. I, wonder, I wonder if we're gonna have a rain of sockets on me but no oh whoa 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 okay Ooh, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, look at that. <laughs> what? Well, it's got a ratchet and everything in here. Uh, that I didn't know, and it's because it's an impact set. I wasn't thinking about ratchets or anything like that. I'll fix this here in a second. <laughs> oh, wow. And it's right through, it's all, yep, half inch. And it even has an adopter and another uh, different size adopter for like three, I guess three eighths, yeah, three eighths adopter to a, a half inch impact, uh, impact so, uh, extensions, wow, impact short extension, yeah. but it also comes with a ratchet, which did not even know that, uh, I have not seen this set, so I didn't open it up, I didn't look at it, uh, I knew it was an impact set, like, and look at the sizes this thing goes up to. This is an inch and a quarter. Wow. So this is a good professional set of impacts for anyone that's doing any kind of like automotive work. Let's see if we can fix that little thing. It just popped off. No biggie. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, that's just a... Uh, yeah. There we go. Let's see if we can pop it back on. Mm, there we go. Yeah, it just pops on and off, so that was just something. And normally, uh, what I've done in the past is uh, take my roll around toolbox and open up just one full drawer and take these off, take these pins out, remove this, and just put this whole thing right in there, drawer. That way when you open the drawer, you have all this right there for you. You can pull it out and use it as you need, put it back where it belongs. Yeah, keep it organized. <laughs> yes. And only allow three pieces at any one time on the on the job because that way it stays together and you don't lose parts. <laughs> well, that's the way I was trained at the uh, little race uh, motorcycle place that I worked at for a little bit. Yeah. Wow. Here's a uh, good close-up of the whole set. Now you've got standard, and of course you've got metric. You also have your standard size sockets, and then you have all your deep sockets. The sizes run from 3 8 and again this is impact, so it'll be a little different, from 3 8 all the way up to inch and a quarter on the uh, standard. And also, through the deep socket, same thing, 3 8 all the way up to inch and a quarter. So you can, you know, impact some pretty good stuff with these uh, sockets. Now, on the metric side, same thing, uh, same similar size, anyways, 10 millimeter <laughs> all the way up to 24 millimeter. And the same thing, again, you have the deep sockets. So you've got quite a few sockets here. That's, this is more than enough for, I think, most anybody. But we'll also have, uh, in the extensions, we've got this, the shorty here, but it's like about two inch or three inch, three inch extension, which then goes up to a five inch extension. And then you've got the great big one here, which, let's see what size that one is. Yeah, and that one, there's a 10 inch extension impact. Yeah, well, that's, that's that's a lot here right there and what I didn't know about this set which was this right here this is a ratchet that I really didn't know was going to be in here 
and I've been looking at it and it is got an amazing detent on it. Let's let's see if I can show you this. I I just we'll just put something on here for a second. And again, you have to yep, you got the button there to lock, lock it, but I'll just barely look at just barely turn that socket and she has an amazing look at that's just unreal how I don't know what the detent number is on that thing but that is amazing now we'll push the button to release the socket which is nice that's a really nice thing too I really love the, the button back here where you can you know release it and it has of course the nice heavy switch this kind of reminds me of the old really good USA made craftsman kind of uh, ratchets that we used to get uh, in our sets a long long time ago now the adapter set here is kind of cool too, although I don't know how many times you'd ever need something like this, but you go from a 3 8 to a half inch drive. So that means with your 3 8 set you can get into all of, use any of this stuff here right here with using this. That's great. Uh, this here I don't recommend, but they do give it to you. <laughs> yeah, you can go from half inch to quarter drive, and I'm not sure why they would even do that, but they do, yeah, and it's, uh, you know, it's just something that's in the set, which is really, really handy. And I love the way it was all laid out in here. Like I said, well, you, you remove the pins, remove the front here, and put this in your a roll around toolbox drawer, and then you have everything. It's got a place for it, and it looks really good. But uh, the finish is a little strange. Uh, just take a quick look at one of these uh, picks in here, seven eighths or something. It's uh, on here like this stamp, you know, but it's also uh, stamped in on each one of these. It has that heavy chrome vadium and it's stamped in 7 8 size so it's on both here so it's mar everything is marked twice so eventually over time if this was to rub off or whatever you'd still be able to look here and see that it's a 7 8 socket so that's a good thing that they, they have a marked both ways which are kind of yeah and also i guess there's no question that would be but they're all six point so there is no funny eight point twelve point something screwbally yeah, it does happen, but you know, I've, I've had crazy cheap sets like that show up. The price on this is so low, it's absolutely stupid. I, that is insane for this big a set of impacts with all those sockets plus these accessories. That is absolutely so, wow, Viver, how did you even do that? Oh, and here's one more. Now this one, again, I've had to use these myself. Uh, this has a little bit of a universal joint thing to it, so that if you're on a bit of an angle, and you have to be, you can still get your impact set on there and drive on an angle, which, again, that's, you know, that's something that I used to really go crazy and try to hold on to those because they are so hard to find in some sets, but, yep, it's included with the Beaver set, so. Half inch drive to half inch drive, by the way, too, on that. Yeah, wow. Huh. And a link will be provided in the description below where you can find this set from Vivor. Yeah. Over about half the price of what I just saw over at Harbor Freight, but theirs, like I said, won't be available until near the end of June, and it's going to be like double the price of this set right here. And it doesn't include the ratchet and stuff, but it's it's a socket set. Now, <clears throat> the next thing that Vivor tells me is this is laser etched, this uh, writing that's on top, so it should last a long time or stay with the socket for a very long time, which was like, okay, great. Uh, also checked with some reviewers and uh, some fellows that work on trucks and stuff said that uh, the quality and the selection, the price and everything, they said they were shocked over how good and how well the set was. And they were giving it like a five star rating. They said this is an awesome set. So I guess the bottom line here is if you need a set of, if you don't have impacts and you think you like to have some, this will cover everything you're probably ever going to work on. <laughs> yeah. I only have a handful of uh the basic ones that I've needed for the car, you know, that sort of thing over the years. And I've always wished I'd had a, you know, a nicer, bigger set of impacts because this is something you can put on one of those air guns, you know, and just go to town and, you know, tear some stuff off. Which brings me to the next point. And I'm not quite sure on how to describe this, but this is uh, designed with little curls, little in the edges here. And the idea is that this will grab the nut well better than some other designs and it will have less chance of rounding the nut off. Yeah, so yeah, there is some design things about these sockets that Beaver tells me makes them better than a lot of other ones that are out there. Now, all of that said, there's only one question I cannot answer and I have no idea where you'd be at, but uh, we're all, if you're from the baby boomer era, <laughs> yeah, you could go to Sears and say, hey, I broke this, and they just throw another one at you, and you go back out the door happy and whatever. 
it was called warranty and sometimes a lot of stuff was like lifetime warranty and this is not the case in fact i don't know if anything is lifetime warranty anymore i know that uh, even uh harbor freight has some limitations on stuff sometimes one year three year whatever or you have to buy the extended warranty you know that sort of thing uh, so I don't know what the warranty situation looks like on this. I looked it up and I, I tried to check uh, to see what I could find about it and I really didn't ha get anywhere with it. So it was like, if you did have a problem, you'd have to contact customer service and I don't know, you, you might be, you know, that might be where you come up short a little bit, but for the price and the quality from what I'm seeing, I can't imagine uh, calling up and saying, hey, I destroyed the socket. If you did, probably shouldn't be doing what you were doing. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, because I, I, I have tore up a lot of stuff in my lifetime. Oh, yes. That is just, this is just amazing. I, just an amazing set of tools. And I, I, like I said, this was just for the price, you know. I did not expect to see even a rash. Oh, the deep tent points on this thing. 72 points on that. Yeah, so at 72 points, you've got, you know, an incredible amount of functional detents on there for the ratchets. So that is, that is insane. That is, that is really good. I, that uh, I just can't say enough about Beaver. You always manage to shock me between quality and price. I'm pretty much always been very, very just blown away by what Beaver has and most of their tools. I'm, I'm sure there's something they have somewhere that I will not like, but uh, I don't think we've ever had it in here. I think uh, I don't care whether it's this grinder back here or, or, or their solar panels or their, their, in fact, their other socket set that did come in, that was the Chrome, you know, the standard model. I kept it and got rid of my Cobalt set because their set was actually better. It was about half the price of that Cobalt set. And it was like, you know what? I'll, I'll live with the Viva set. I don't have, you know, I don't have to have Cobalt in my toolbox. It, it doesn't, it just doesn't have to be so. I also hang on to my old Craftsman that was made in the USA, and the only reason for that is it's, it's like almost like sentimental reasons or something, I guess. Hard to explain, but there was a day when you could go to Sears, buy Craftsman tools, and you were real happy about it. <laughs> but there's so much uh, competition out there, I think that uh, in some ways it's sort of good for tool guys like us because you can get deals like this off of other various companies. And Beaver likes to say, you know, tough tools at half the price. And it's right there and they put their name on their stuff. That to me just keeps keeps saying that that's, that's a big thing right there. If they continue to put their name on the stuff, uh, I really like that, yeah, oh yes. So let's, uh, let's call this a day. Wow, this is a warm day here in Texas. Well, that's it, uh, happy Memorial Day to everybody. This has been, this is actually, like I said, this is just, that is, it's all, oh, it's 32 pounds. I was close, you know. It's heavy, yeah, it's a good metal set, you know, but. I want to thank everybody for watching Coffee and Tools. Please like, share, subscribe, ring the notice bell. We'll see you Thursday. In the meantime, happy Memorial Day. Have a, I hope everybody had a good weekend. You bet. All right, over and out.